Okay, I'm just going to make a quick video to show you how much fun Lightroom can be. Don't be put off by all this scary stuff all over here. It's just like your camera, loads of it you don't even use. You just need to use a few little bits and it's as much as you want to use. So first of all, we're going to grab this folder of images and we're going to drag it onto Lightroom. It's then going to just give you all the images there with lots of ticks on them. Basically, all those ticks mean I want that image. So you can either unclick it if there's some that you don't want, but it's a lot easier just to load the whole lot in, I find. So we've got all our images ticked there. We go down to the bottom of the screen. Hang on, let's just move it up a minute. We go down to the bottom of the screen and we press import. That then will start importing all the pictures for you. But the great thing about Lightroom is that you can start working on the images without waiting for them all to upload. So the first thing we're going to do is just have a little play and see what we can do with them. So let's click on our first image here. These are all unretouched and they are JPEG images. You can use RAW or JPEG, whatever you like. Um, now, the library here shows us where we've got all our pictures kept, but we want to develop this picture. So we'll click on Develop and it goes into its Develop section. And then you'll notice that suddenly things change and on the left-hand side we've got lots of presets down here. And these presets are basically lots of different effects that you can put on the image. If you look at this image up here, it shows you the different things different effects that you'll get as you scroll through them. So we've got black and white colour, all sorts of different things. So let's just have a look at uh, this one. Let's try Bleach Bypass. That looks quite cute. So we'll tick on that and our picture will change instantly. So that's all we did. Press one button and the picture looks fab like it is. Now sometimes it might not. Sometimes it might look a bit wishy or a bit dark. You just keep trying them until you find one that you like. But I quite like that. Um, if we wanted to change it to a black and white picture, we just go up and there's lots of different black and white options. Um, God knows what they all mean, but we just keep pressing on them and we try one that we like. So let's try cream tone, see what that's like. Now that's a great effect, but it's a little bit light, simply because it's a JPEG image and the preset is for a RAW image. But that doesn't matter, because all we need to do is go across to the right-hand side of the screen, where you'll see lots of other little slidey things that you can use. Again, tons of stuff you don't need, so just focus on the ones that you want to play with. I often use the exposure one here, just to bring the exposure up and down. If you have a really dark picture, for instance, it can look fantastic, just brightened up slightly with the exposure. So here, we've got a lot of little light areas here, because we've press this preset. So let's just lower the exposure a little bit and that should come back. And it does. So about there. So we went too far down there, it would be too dark. And if we went too far up here, it would be too light. So we just fiddle about till we find one that we like in the middle. And there we go. I think that looks great. Okay, the next thing you can do is press this little thing here, which is the crop tool. You don't have to. I quite like the image like it is. I'm not keen on this bit here on the picture at the top, so I'd like to get rid of that. But let's go press on crop and you'll see all these lines that come around the picture. Just get hold of them and drag them into where you want. Suddenly that's gone. Okay, so now it's quite a nice picture. When I shot it, I like the lamp, I like all this sort of stuff in it, but let's just try taking the lamp out just to give a different effect. So we'll crop in like this and suddenly we've got a slightly sharper picture, closer picture. Hit done and it's done. And there's our picture. And on the next few videos, I'll be showing you how to do more.